My name is Lawrence Sherman. I'm the director of the Cambridge Center for Evidence-Based Policing, and we are working with police agencies all over the world to use better application of research to improve police performance, to protect the public, and to uphold the rule of law. We've been working on the Intelligence Analyst Apprenticeship Program, funded through the English Apprenticeship Levy System, that allows police agencies to send as many people as they want to a one-year, mostly online course, taught with an evidence-based policing theme to support anybody in policing, from chief constable to civilian staff officers, to learn about how to use evidence for more effective policing. The Opportunity Group is the apprenticeship powerhouse that is fueling the CCEP evidence-based policing apprenticeship, which is based on the intelligence analyst standard. The Opportunity Group is the registered apprenticeship training provider that Cambridge is partnering with in order to deliver this apprenticeship to a very large number of officers and staff across English police agencies. Opportunity Group has extensive experience with such large organizations as the Financial Conduct Authority, British Athletics, and the Financial Ombudsman Service. This program, it's all about data-driven policing, so supporting police in the UK to have better strategic decision-making based on data, and it allows them to make better decisions as well. So if you're a serving police officer or police staff, you would want to join this program so that you can be more data-driven in your day-to-day -day work and make better decisions as a result of it, which will reduce crime and harm in the UK. So this program is free of charge. What the employers are worried about is not the financial cost, but the time cost. They think that with the 20% requirement of off-the-job learning, they're effectively going to lose people for a day a week. But that's not true, not with this apprenticeship. The great thing about this apprenticeship is that it allows employers to have their apprentices learn from a project that's being supervised by Cambridge University academics but it's also part of the day job of the apprentices. So what you're getting is a two for one. You're getting work that qualifies as the off the job learning and it qualifies as an on the job contribution to improving police performance for the employers uh, who are sponsoring these apprentices. What that looks like in reality is time spent in workshops. We've got a two-day event at the start of the programme, a two-day event here in Cambridge at the end of the programme. The rest of the time it's all spent um, in virtual learning, so joining lectures, discussion groups and one-to-one -one coaching. I feel that we are stuck in a very traditional way and that actually this is a real refreshing change that actually we find the evidence, we can work on it and make changes in a positive way. Well, first and foremost, they are being taught uh, the key principles in evidence-based policing. So this is more of a scientific look at, at policing, and they're, they're definitely going to be learning and improving their, their skill sets because the idea behind the program is to use data in a data-driven way you can improve policing across the UK. So if officers and analysts are working much closer together and understand what the information is telling them, they can better shape how they run patrols, for example, on their forces. The training is facilitated by some of the key members of the Institute of Criminology. But you're getting PhD students that are nearing the completion of the PhD, as well as some, some very tenured lecturers at the Institute of Criminology here. So we're getting quite a bit of experience in, in terms of who we have on the program here. We're really getting the best of, of the best in terms of criminology. First crime, you look at their values, top to bottom, crime harm values. So if there's murders in there, that's 5,495. Again, a really positive uh, finding for considering an alternative resolution method as opposed to... ...where that harm was, so obviously using the Cambridge Crime Harm Index, everything was baited, and we looked at um, what, we were, what, what was being presented in terms of... We believe that every person will get something different out of this, but what is great about having this year-long programme is that they will have time to understand fully how to influence using data, how to gather data, and also how to have a project that is based on their particular focus and also room to fail on that project while they're within the framework of the programme that they can be fully supported. It's, it's just mind-blowing, completely changes the way I think and 
feel about issues like the domestic abuse stuff we've heard about this morning, the hotspot policing, how we can do things differently. And it then sort of brings to your attention how much we rely on intuition and the currency of, uh, of time served. And it, yeah, it, it makes you start thinking about everything that you do and how you could test it and whether it's legitimate or not and whether the public are getting the value for money or not from, from what we do every day. The program is unique in that we're having discussions online, group discussions, but at the same time, personal coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching with each student. Myself and each of my students will be speaking uh, together regularly on their various projects and how they're, they're making out with the course. If we're looking to make meaningful change in law enforcement, there needs to be some teaching done. And these students are coming to the program, some with some experience in evidence-based policing, some not so much. And they're taking all this course concepts and they're taking it back to the organization for continual improvement. So this really is about pushing a scientific uh, view of policing, a scientific experimentation in policing in order to improve the way we do policing. A lot of officers that have been a long time are stuck with this. This is why we, we police like this, because that's the way it's always been. Actually open your mind now and look at the fact that there is a different way to police and actually the different way of policing might be a more effective way and make your job easier. So just have the open mind and go with it and just see what happens. The why of what we're doing. Yeah. Why do we do what we're doing and how does it all fit? And, and if people knew that, you'd maybe get more buy-in. Yeah, I, I, I felt, felt the same. I've got 26 years service um, and I um, have spent a lot of that time um, as a detective and I feel as though um, I've spent a huge amount of my time reacting uh, to things that have happened um, and I was really attracted to come on this course to look at um, how, you know, to, to try and develop some confidence about uh, the things that we do in the police service to deal with demand, um, rising crime rates, uh, public expectation, uh, victim expectation, etc. Is what we're doing and how we're approaching it, does it actually work? So the brilliant thing about the apprenticeship opportunity is that everyone here is funded from their police forces apprenticeship levy pot. And we think that by developing yourself, you are making better life choices for yourself and therefore joining a programme such as this is not only benefiting you and your family but also making you more competent at your job. First of all, people should always be trying to learn, so you should always be trying to inform yourself better about your job and what you're doing. And in the case of police, it's so critical that they are using their resources in the right ways. Um, otherwise, we can be putting our resources into completely the wrong places and missing making real differences in preventing harm to people. At the end of the 12-month course with us, they prepare for an endpoint assessment by an independent organization that determines whether they've mastered the knowledge, skills, and behavior needed for intelligence analysis. And if they do, then the police force uh, doesn't have to repay the money to the apprenticeship levy, so it's pretty important that they pass. But that's just in the short run. In the long run, what's important is how well they explain the use of evidence in policing, how well they can apply that evidence, how well they can improve the performance of complex systems that are called police departments, where everybody's frustrated with the way they work, uh, but nobody's been trained in ways to reinvent the systems to get better results. And that's really what we're trying to do, trying to get a large percentage of people in British policing. We want to get as many people as possible to understand how evidence can produce better results for policing, just as it has for medicine, for education, and many other fields. So the reason I would say people need to come onto this program is because it will give them the skills and the tools to apply back into their day jobs. So yes, there's a lot of research, there's a lot of theory behind the principles that they will learn, but we will give them tools that they can straight away um, utilize and have an impact not only on their organization and their ways of working, but wider impact on society as well. Yeah, I think the key thing that I love for them to take away is to be able to do their own research and, their, and think about their sort of day job in different ways and how they can make their own little improvements. 
It's been mind-blowing. Um, I've been introduced to ideas that have never occurred to me. Um, it's, I've an awful lot of things to think about and uh, a real challenge, I think, now to think about how I can try and put some of that learning into practice. It's very, very early days, um, but I'm really excited to see how we can maybe um, utilise some of those practices at North Yorkshire. So I think for anybody, no matter what level you're at in the organisation, it's a fantastic opportunity to do something a little bit different, but to also try and test something new, um, just to see if it works. It's so important that we start to institute this into absolutely every day. And I think the way that I'll recommend it is just by using what we learn here and using it in every day and showing them the benefit of it. Anybody who um, is not happy with the way we do things uh, or thinks that we, they are satisfied with the way they, they do things, uh, I think this is a great opportunity to have discussions with them and say, well, think again uh, and um, come to this course because you will learn so much.